Hi and welcome to the play review of Inform Morgan Schneiderlin. He plays for the Saints in the BPL. He has a medium attacking work rate and high defensive work rate. He also has a three star weak foot and two star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 89 interceptions, 88 stand tackle, 86 passing and 80 strength. We've also included the gains from his non-inform as well, so you can pause for a close look at examining stats. So this is the team we used him in. We used a 4-1-2-1-2 French team with Schneidlin at CDM. We also included second informed Payet who we've also got a review of on my channel so you can check that one out as well. So now on to how we felt about Schneidlin. So really this is a bit of a throwaway in form. He already has his team of the season card and his in form was already at 10k within in an hour after him being released on Wednesday night. So how did he do? So his main strength obviously is his defensive game. So we do have a fair few clips. We've tried to include these clips of his defensive efforts as well. This is the main meat and potato of what he's going to be doing for you. So he did do very well at breaking up play. Got great interceptions. Intercepted quite a lot of balls as well. Getting back, getting stuck in him with the tackles. He also does have the dives into tackles trait, which does help a lot on a, a CDM and defenders. So CDM really is the best and only position you, you really should be playing Schneidlin in. I wouldn't not be playing him any further up. He does he does have great passing, so he is good starting plays as a deep lying midfielder. The rest of his stats are pretty average, so he's not going to be amazing any further up the pitch. CDM is where you want to be doing making the doing the hard work at the back. So when he does stray up forward, he did actually pop up with a goal. Got a bit of luck to get it, strolled onto it in the box and just smashed it into the top of the net with his left foot. Not too bad, quite a surprise when that actually went in. He also did manage to win us a penalty, so we thought we might as well stick it on. I normally do that, whoever wins the penalty, I normally stick him on the penalties. Did manage to score it and manage to double his goal tally. So let's have a look at Schneidlin's performance stats. So in 10 games, we only managed 2 goals, but from CDM, you're not, you're not going to be expecting a lot of goals from back there. But he did only get 1 assist. So all his stats are down the left hand side there. And on the bottom right, we put a position map, so in his goals and assist. So you can always pause the video for a closer look at his stats, what we've made for you. So overall, we're going to give Schneidlin a 7.5 out of 10. He's good enough in the CDM role. Nothing spectacular, but he is only a discard in form. So if you can afford it, I would recommend really sticking to the team of the season version. He is a far better version. But if you want to try him, you shouldn't. You shouldn't lose too many coins with reselling him, only a discard, you can easily pick him up even for under 10k. So finally on to his positives and negatives. Positives are, as we said, good defensive stats, so good passing, good work rates for a defensive midfield as well, medium high, and his price, a bargain discard. On to his negatives, as we said, average stats really, all 70s apart from his defensive stats. Only two scar skills, doesn't help, and his dribbling was quite poor as well. Don't hang about on the ball with him too much in midfield. Get those passes away to start the moves. Get him doing what he does best, getting stuck into tackles. So, thanks a lot for watching, lads. Hopefully you liked the review. Do leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe as well if you're new. For plenty of stuff coming up. FIFA 15 is around the corner. Tons of squad builders coming. Any possible ones we can imagine we're going to be trying. And... Loads of, loads of player reviews as well with all the new player ratings. So thanks a lot for lads. Stay tuned. Cheers.